Hey, 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 hey. It's the John and Heather Show. And we are coming to you live from our production studio slash elves warehouse. And those nasty little elves. They're little sneaky, Man, dirty they bastards. Were, they were trying to send out these Christmas cards and pass it off. Now I'm just going to show you this card right here. This card says, man's cock wins first prize. And a picture of a man with this lovely rooster. And it says, it wasn't hard, says birthday boy. Uh, <laughs> I, couldn't do it. I couldn't keep it anymore. I, just, I, mean, I couldn't keep a straight face. I'm telling you, those elves. <laughs> I bought this at the freaking hardware store. No $3. shit. I, for, yeah, three ninety five. She almost killed me, but it was so $4 damn card. funny. What? It, it, <gasps> do the thing. Okay. Do, the, do that. <gasps> no, you got that Mariah Carey scream oh, down the last time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't. But I love this. Was just so damn funny. I couldn't resist. But oh my god, it was funny. Now on and that. You bought that in line in front of the other people just loving it he was laughing i was laughing my ass off i even showed it to the girl behind the counter i'm like look at this that's effing funny but that's just me and then she wouldn't take our card because the freaking scanner little thing broke and then i just blew her mind when i said put the numbers it's like huh huh i can't do uh, whatever customer service at its best <sighs> don't you hate that when you go uh, out and they was treat it, you was it goose fraba goose fraba there we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to hand the mic back to you for the rest of it. Thank you, baby. I love the microphone. This is Speak into the mic. Ha, 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 Stormy, it's the microphone. No. Yes. <laughs> Can't put that right in the tree. Here. Perfect. That really looks funny there. No, that's where I'm going to leave it. That's actually really funny there. It is. And it's a perfect shot. Wow, things work out. See, when you don't plan things, sometimes they work out. Because we didn't plan <laughs> that. And it worked out. Oh, God. Okay. All righty then. On that note, we want to talk about motorcycles. Yay. You know, the yeah. things that we love to ride. Oh, yeah. The motorcycles, baby. That's right. We're going to give you a little bit of history about us. Okay. And I'm going to tell go them. First. Go first. Okay, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. So, everybody knows I'm 50 years young. Yay. Yay. And. A 25 year old body. I love. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. I love riding horses. I've been riding horses all my life. I was born and raised around horses, showed them. Um, and I love riding. And you did the barrel ride. I did barrel racing mm -hmm. and pole bending and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. um, so she has talent. Yes, I do. And uh, also yeah. balance because yeah. I also rode motorcycles at the mm -hmm. same time. My mom had Motor me course. do horses and my dad had me do enduro motocross. So I raced motorcycles when I was young. And I'm talking very young. Oh, I think I started racing probably around when I was like eight Yes, but I started riding motorcycles as really soon as I could get on my 50, my Honda 50, yeah, my I, I, bright I, 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 red yeah. Honda 50. Yeah, bright red one? Mine was uh -huh. yellow. Mine was bright red. Uh, keep, keep going. So I, as soon as I could get on that bright red 50cc, I got on and I tore ass all around the farm that we lived on. But I've been riding motorcycles all of my life. Um, I've loved motorcycles all my life. I've loved the bike lifestyle all my mm -hmm. life. Uh, and it's something that it's just been embedded in my heart and it's a part of me, just like riding horses are a part of me. Um, I'll never change. That's always going to be me. I love the way I get to uh, choose different amount, different, different clothing that is in the biker lifestyle, as they want to say. I like dressing no, like does. that, you know. I, I like my jeans and boots, and um, I'm not a girl that really enjoys wearing dresses. Well, you know I'm a woman that would rather wear jeans and boots. Well, this is our trademark. I mean, look at this. Look I love this. wearing long she boots. Loves, and no matter where we go, women constantly compliment her on her boots. You like the boots. I love boots, too. And you too. have more coming in, too. Yes, so I do. I have, a, I have some really new pairs coming in yeah, that I am getting for Christmas that this great man here bought for me. So, as I was saying, 
um, I don't like to wear dresses. And I prefer jeans and boots. And I love the clothing that goes along with riding motorcycles. And I look good in them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. And I love the lifestyle. I love the freedom that comes with riding a motorcycle on the road, Wind the open therapy. road. Wind therapy. Wind therapy for me is better than anything, any therapy. With your clothes on. Anything, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, I haven't tried riding naked yet. That I can remember. That'd be the one time we go down, I'll skin my dick. <laughs> Only you would say that. Oh my God. Only you. Alrighty, I don't know how to come back from that one. Okay. As I was saying. I skin my dick, I can't come back from that one. Alrighty then. <laughs> What am I gonna do with you, John? Marry me. What am I gonna? I'm already married to you. What well, else am I gonna do? Marry you again? Okay. Alrighty. Now I lost my train of thought. On your motorcycles, on your QX, on your little fifty Honda. How much you loved it riding? Then you went on <laughs> horses. How much you love horses? Barrel riding. And on that riding. note, I don't have anything else to say. Let's talk about you and your history of motorcycles, because I can't top what you said. <laughs> All right, I grew up uh, in Long Island, New York, and that's big pagan territory out by me. It really was. But I just knew all the guys again. I never really, um, no affiliate. I just knew them, knew them all. Went to school with most of them. You know, so after I graduated, you know, I knew all of them, hung out with them. Yeah. No big deal. And this just like we do now. And this we're endorsing anybody nope, or any club all. or any at affiliate. All. We're not affiliates of any club. I we am love friends everybody. with the person. I we am love friends. members mm -hmm. of every club out there. That is right. I love the people. I love everybody in every different, you know, organization and every MC. Everyone is unique and individual and do, does their own wonderful work. And that's what we highlight by this. And that's really our perspective on that. We're colorblind to anything, but we just, we will like and we will, you know, help support anybody. Yeah. Anybody. We are neutral. Anybody. So. Anyways, they, so you anyways. were born out there. So anyway, I was born out in Long Island, you know, ago. half a century ago. And um, I remember my first motorcycle because my friend got his first motorcycle when I was going into the Pagans. I got myself a 1971 QX50 Honda. If you remember, it was a three-speed, um, but no clutch. So you just turned it off, you know, did 35 miles an hour. had big old knobby <laughs> tires on it. And it had like that chainsaw-looking motor with the, you know, the... The one longer that sticks out in the front this way. It looks like a chainsaw, like a moped engine. Oh, man, as soon as my dad gave me that bike, I was up and down that road. Yulee Avenue, I remember. Oh, up and wow. down that. Was it Yulee? It was it soda with a Y? I know that. And I remember my dad used to come up, and he had a 450 Honda, um, Honda Hawk 450. That's when Honda first came out with, like, you know, the bridge over of a fast, smaller bike. You know, it was a four-cylinder, too. Right. It's a 450 four-cylinder. I had the flat seat that went on that. Mm -hmm. And my dad, again, he had no affiliation either. He just loved the ride. He even started off on a moped. So yeah, I got you the. Gotta start yeah. on something. Yep. So we did that. I had a QX50 Honda. I had that for a while until I started to outgrow it. And then I traded that into the same dealer I bought it from. And I got a CR80 Honda. And I, that 50 was so rare, believe it or not. And I kept it in such good shape because they only crashed it once. But my face went through the fence, not the bike. Ah. I had a big J on the side like this. It was a scar. It looked like for jerk. So then I got a, a CR80. And the J was for John. Yeah, for John. Yep. And then I had a CR80. Had that bike for a while. Sold that bike. Graduated to a YT100 Yamaha Enduro. Had that for a little bit. Didn't really like it. Then I started basically swiping my dad's Honda Hawk when he was at work. <laughs> oh, shame on oh, you. Oh, yeah, man. Just uh, just riding that thing everywhere, everywhere. Because I put a dollar worth of gas in at the time and fill the damn tank back up, but you never know. Back then. I was like today. 14 years old and wore a helmet. I looked like a small man. You know what I'm saying? Because 14 year old kid, yeah. you know, with a helmet on, gear, this is in New York, you really don't know. As long as I ain't breaking no laws, you know, and I was able to ride well. So that, I mean, dad did catch me one time. Yeah. Seriously, man, I came home, saw his truck in the driveway. I'm like, pulled in, and man, he just. He didn't know what to say. He just basically, I don't even remember what happened. It must have been so bad. I don't even remember what happened, so I'm assuming it was quite horrible, and I've blocked oh. it out of my mind. 
you know, so that's definitely a repressed or suppressed memory that I have there, and I am not going to go find out what happened. More than likely, the only words out of my mouth was like, ouch, ouch, my head. So, <laughs> with my father, because I stole his bike, man. Come on, I stole my dad's bike. I don't even remember what happened. I think, ouch, ouch, my head may have been knocked out cold. Who the hell knows? But that's back in the uh, 80s. You get away with that shit. So, uh, then after that, you know, just all, I started all my street bikes. You know, this is my second Harley, and... I've been riding since I've been eight, eight years old. So 40 years I've been riding. Yeah. It's a long 40 time. years. 40 years. We've both been riding a long damn mm -hmm. time. And yes. we love it. And we love the biker lifestyle. We love everything Most about Most honest, riding. wonderful people in the world. And if you're a brother of theirs and they're a sister of yours, I know that they have your back. I know shit hits the fan. Something fucked up happens. I know. That, you know, I'm not going to some whiny little punk. The first thing he does is two hits. Me hitting him, him hitting the ground, him yelling for the police. <laughs> the whole time he's on the ground. Got to cap some. You know, it's just, I, I don't need that bullshit, you know, yeah, anymore. I need real it. fucking men and I need real women. I need ones that you can joke around with and not get offended by a joke. Somebody that, you know, if I get broke down, they'll come out of their way with no money in their pocket at just to help me out. At 3 a.m., giving us a place to stay, too. Exactly. Call up our other friends and say, you know, I need a place to crash my bikes down. Come right on over. And they make us food. Yes, and yeah. make us food. Especially you, because you come, you're starving all the time. Because I'm always hungry. That's super squirrel. Yeah, so that's basically how it is. And on that, that's basically everything that we have done with motorcycles. Now we just have our big... Ultra that we love to go grocery shopping on and freak people out, which we said in our other video yeah. that you can watch. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's we really love this bike. I'm not going to get rid of this one for a long no, time. That's, that's no. our baby. Just maybe dyno tune it and put some fancy yeah. little sparklies on it and put that big ass Kenwood stereo system on it. Mm, yeah, yeah, that would be nice. That's major bucks. Yeah, that's major bucks. But we're going to say on that, we love you all. We want to say like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please hit the bell for our notifications. Ding, ding. And hey, please leave your comments down below. Yes, and we like to hear your comments. And we're pleased. We like to subscribe. We'd like to respond to them. You want to do a swag bag giveaway? Yeah, let's do a giveaway. Okay, so what do you want to say? You have to, does they have to watch the video you all the way to the end? Okay, how about the first one that texts back Ultra? Okay. Ultra, because that's my uh, that's my Harley. I have an Ultra. Anybody on this video, or if they see this one, text it to our channel or whatnot. Comment. Comment Ultra. You'll get us John and Heather swag bag free of charge, and uh, we will contact you personally, get your um, mailing information, and we send it out via snail mail to you. And we want to say on that shiny side up, rubber side down. And we love you all. Yes, we do. Bye bye. Deuces. Be safe. God bless. Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. <laughs>